So I got a call today from a client who unfortunately, when I got the call saying so-and-so is on the phone, I knew it was not gonna be good news. And it was a client of Mars that of, wow, 20 some years, um, super great guy, but he's been fighting cancer for the last three years. And, you know, last time I talked to him was just before Christmas. And you can, you know, you can tell in somebody's voice when they're, they're ready to go, you know, they're ready to sail on and uh, hit the road to a better place. And when I got on the phone with her, you know, she was really like, um, she was really, she's like, you know, I'm not sad, but I'm just going to miss him. He, he knew he was going, he was ready to go, he was tired. He had fought cancer for three years, was on a, in a, you know, eating out a feeding tube, couldn't go outside and he used to be a, a forest, uh, forester and um, wasn't living, you know, the good life, wasn't living loud by any means. And it's just a reminder that <clears throat> That life is way too short. And if you're doing something you don't want to do, or you're living with people you don't want to live with, if you're not feeling positive the majority of your life, you got to make a change. And sometimes that change is super hard. But it's regretful if you don't. Because in those final moments, and unfortunately, having been in the financial advisory industry for 20 some years now, the one thing you'd often do is you say goodbye to people you like. And I quit counting at 40 and it's insane. It's tiring, it's exhausting, but it's a reminder you got to enjoy the life you are given and you've got to be doing stuff you really love to do. If you're not doing what you love to do, if you're not getting the best out of the people that are around you and they're not bringing the best out of you, you need to make some adjustments. Life is too good. It's too pretty. We got to stop and take a deep breath and just enjoy the moment. We run too hard at the um, achieving things and, and making big strides in our life and achieving success or money and all that. And in the end, and I've witnessed it unfortunately a number of times, when you're sitting and you're watching a sibling or a relative and they move on, there is no U-Haul or rider truck behind them bringing all their stuff and money. They go with nothing. All they go with is memories and I hope to God that those memories go on to the afterlife and they get to live a brilliant life. So if you're prioritizing the wrong things that don't go with you after you pass, you need to readjust. I still look, I remember the day when my sister passed away on the 26th of December, uh, 2014, and how she just sort of faded into the light and she was gone. And I wish I could have a conversation with her. I wish I could have a conversation with my buddy who passed away on Sunday. Many conversations I wish I could have had. It's the one thing I miss is having a talk. Just about whatever, whatever. So the whole point of this, it's not a financial uh, uh, video. It's not a how to buy stocks or bonds video. It's it's getting the best out of life and living and living loud. So please take a moment today, every day, to take a deep breath and just thank the universe for allowing you to be here and allowing you to see the sunshine and the darkness and to experience and to live. Take control of your life and make great things happen. Live loud.